Okay, I'm sitting in Fred Meyer's right now, and I just took back a bunch of stuff, and they gave me this credit because I didn't have my receipt, and uh, ripped me off $45. Um, their exchange policy sucks, and I'm crying right now, and I never want to come here again. I'm waiting to speak to the manager. Hi. I want to complain because I just took back some stuff over here and it I didn't have the receipt because it was a gift. Okay. And I had the tags on there and everything. And they said that I had to get it for the lowest price. Mm -hmm. And um so I ended up losing like forty five dollars or so well, on actually, the gift. Um, and I'm real upset because I just caught two buses to get here and now I'm gonna miss the bus and I don't um want to have to deal with this but since now I got ripped off $45 I wanted to complain about your policy okay. and let you know that for poor people it really socks it to us because we wait for Christmas to come and then when someone buys us a gift and we try to return it if it's not the right gift we get penalized for it oh, it's a, it's, it's, and it's not fair because usually talk? people don't give I'm talking right now can you listen to me Sure. I, usually when people give you a gift, they don't put the receipt in the package, okay? And sometimes people lose receipts, and it happens because of all of the stress of Christmas. And now, because of that, I'm, I've lost money, and I know a lot of people are going to lose money today. And I wanted to know, can you please uh, rectify this? I cannot. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure that you knew that I was real upset about it and that a lot of people will be. Right. Because you guys are literally just taking advantage of poor people, in a sense, because you know that they have the, res the, um, the price on there, the tags, and then you go and you lower the price right after Christmas. It's a strategic marketing move that you do. You, you lower the price and you know that you're going to count on people not having the receipt so that you can cash in on it, on people's mistakes. And it's just wrong I'm to do. I'm that's how it works. It's not how that's it the works. way I see it. I know that's how you see it, so I am. And it's, it's a real rotten way, way to do business. There's nothing I can do or okay. say that's going to make you see it. I know, but I'm just letting you know that people are on to you guys, okay? Okay. And that's a scam you're running. Okay. okay, that you're trying to lower prices and then you won't give people back their money and cut people out and it's just wrong. It's just wrong when you guys are as rich as you are. The people who own the store live in mansions, okay? Yes, they, do. they do. And they probably pay you guys crappy money too, I'm sure. All right, have I won't now because of you guys. And now you probably made me miss my bus. Well, as you can see, Fred Myers is in the big hit business for the holidays. Um, they rack up the prices, and then when you buy the stuff and you try to return it because it was a gift that you didn't want, then they knock the price down so they can sock it to you, and then you end up losing $45 off of your Christmas gift so they can pocket it and live in a mansion and drive Rolls Royces and Bentleys and then pay their, their uh, staff crap. I guess they won the lotto here and then they get subsidies from the government so they can pay welfare workers to work here off of cheap wages. And then they stab the customers when they come back for taking back the gifts. What a rip-off wrench. Fred Myers, where you can donate the rest of your ticket items when you try to return it and they'll rip you off on the sales price and knock it down the next day and then try to charge you for it and then they pocket the money so they can live in a mansion. Why don't you donate your Christmas gift?